Okay guys, you can see the semi is in the shop today. Um, lucky me, I get to do a little more paint work on it. Um, idea here, what we're doing is I'm just going to paint this cowl, um, this part here, down along here, um, a little bit inside the door jam and up there. And uh, we'll call our quits on the painting on this. The rest will just have to be buffed out. But I've sanded down a bunch of it. Now I'm just taping. I get to tape, 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 and tape a little more. So that's what I'm going to be doing for uh, probably the rest of the day. Got to get this primed hopefully today. And then. Uh, Hopefully we'll be painting tomorrow. Get her painted and uh, start putting her back together. We keep taking stuff off and taking stuff off and taking stuff off. We need to get to uh, putting stuff back on. So hopefully we will uh, be moving the other way shortly. Okay, so you can see we got the semi all masked off. Got the engine covered up, everything except for uh, what I'm going to be painting. So, just about ready to start spraying. I got to uh, wipe everything down. And uh, I'll be priming most of this. I think I got it pretty darn good, pretty clean. And uh, trying to get this primed so I uh, can let it sit um, tonight and then tomorrow I'll be ready to uh, sand the primer down and hopefully. Uh, get it actually painted, the color on it. So, I'm going to wipe her down here and uh, spray her with uh, primer. Ready spray primer.
Okay, so I got everything primed last night. Right now I'm just uh, touching up some chips that I missed. Um, and that black color, it's really hard to spot all the chips. But when you put this gray on, you can spot all the, the chips in the paint. But right there is the really bad, there's really bad corrosion there was. So I'm just making sure that uh, there's a big stainless piece that goes on there. I'm just making sure that what shows, um, the pits don't show up. But uh, primer went on okay. So uh, just got to do some sanding. Make sure everything's as smooth as it can be where it's going to show. And then uh, start putting some color on. It was about 3 in the morning yesterday before I got finished, so I even forgot to uh, do a video when I got done, so I was pretty tired. Pretty difficult getting back out here and messing with this right now because I'm still tired, but hopefully in a few hours I'll have paint on this thing. Okay, so I got all my sanding done. Um, just got, I got it wiped down. Just got to blow it off one last time here. Um, I've got some of my tape rolled back to make some soft edges so uh, I don't have lines. Places that uh, I couldn't find like a seam. There's all kinds of freight liner stickers here, that's why I couldn't do that, but uh, got my paint all mixed up. Again, this is the uh, Emron. So, nice paint. It's a 3 to 1 ratio with the activator. I really like the stuff. Um, Besides the fact that it's uh, even more dangerous than normal paint, uh, probably should have a fresh air mask on to do this. But I don't, I don't spray this a whole lot, so um, I'm not going to worry about too much. Got my gun ready, so I'm going to get this poured in here. Going to blow the truck off one last time, and uh, we're going to start painting. This paint's a little thicker. Uh, it is a it's a single stage paint, so you don't you know I'm not spraying clear on here. When I spray this on here, that's it. Um, it's got its, it, the shine is like built into it, so you don't need to run a clear coat, which is kind of nice. Um, but you do got to lay it down flat. You can't. Uh, get it all orange peely because you got no clear coat to uh, fix it with so I just mixed up 16 ounces I used uh, 20 ounces of primer so and I got around three times I only got to get around here twice with this so hopefully 16 ounces will do it
Oh, there she is all black. I got a few runs, but really most of this, most of this you won't even see because uh, air cleaner and, and stainless trim goes on here, so um, most of it you can't even see. But uh, it turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it, except for the runs on some of the rivets is what happened. And if you look at the factory paint, even the factory ran the paint on some of the rivets, so I don't think I did too bad. About the only spots you can see is up here, and then the big air cleaners here, and there's a stainless trim there, and then right here you can see, but then there's an emblem there, so um, like I said, a lot of this you don't even see. We really did this for, uh, because there's all kinds of chips everywhere, along here and up in here, and there's bad corrosion down in there, so. That's really the main reason we did it, to match the doors a little better too, and the hood's been repainted, so to kind of match that a little better. Then we got the stacks here that'll kind of break up the old paint, and then I'll buff that out. Should match up pretty well, I think. But the hard part's done. It's painted here. Uh, I can now get the had the fun and of unwrapping this thing. That was not easy covering this thing up. And then I gotta finish, once I get this done, I gotta repaint the door because I wasn't able to buff it out, so. I got one more thing I do have to paint, but it should be pretty easy. And uh, Hopefully we're going to start getting this thing back together now that I got a bunch of paint on it. Okay, so the truck's unmasked. Almost, except for the mirrors there. Just wanted to get uh, it unmasked before the paint totally cured. Um, so, uh, I don't peel up some of the paint. <clears throat> so anyway, it's done. I'm gonna call this video uh, good for now. Uh, next video you're gonna see, I'm gonna try to do some buffing and we're gonna get rid of these uh, pinstripes. So stay tuned for that guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.